Our federal lawmakers under the leadership of pro-reform-minded lawmakers are advocating for an amendment to the 1999 Constitution which would limit the term of the President, Vice President, Governors and their deputies to six years. That amendment uh, also aims to facilitate the rotation of the presidency among the country's six geopolitical zones and implement electoral reforms. Plus, to be Emmanuel, Emmanuel E. Jenner completes the report. Nigerian lawmakers are now calling for an amendment to the 1999 Constitution, aiming to reduce government spending on wastage, create efficiency in governance, and enhance political and national stability. The move follows a call by 60 lawmakers in the House of Representatives for a complete change from the current presidential system to the parliamentary system handed to Nigeria by its British colonial masters. The proposal is expected to be a significant step towards a more stable and efficient Nigerian government. A single tenure of six years, rotation of power between North and South and among the geopolitical zones and the senatorial zones for the governorship and also single tenure for the presidency and single tenure for the governorship six years, removing the billions we spend in re-election and the uncertainty it brings to our electoral process plus the corruption it also brings. And also, we are seeking for all elections to be conducted in one day, reducing the cost of conducting elections, getting more citizens involved on election day, and reducing to the barest minimum the possibility of rigging because you will have those interested in the presidency, in the governorship, in the state assembly, in the national assembly, in the local government, all turning up to vote for their different candidates. Each of the polling units will be populated and that can help to provide a lot of defense. The lawmakers argue that the amendments aimed to address national issues that have polarized the nation across ethno-religious and political divides, injuring its growth and development. Security and inclusiveness of all of us. You also will agree that at different times our interests could differ. Some persons would want to travel home because they have a candidate who wants to contest for probably the House of Assembly. And the other elections won't have anything to do with them, they don't bother. So if you aggregate diverse interests, you would find out that voter turnout would definitely improve. We want to ensure that all potential of young people is utilized. That is by providing opportunity for a rotation from the presidency to the governorship and to local government election. Given this full participation, you will understand that people will have roles to play at different levels. Those of us from Kogi State and Benue State, for example, knows what is happening in our states, if not by divine intervention, that people from my own zone and from the Kogi Central that we were able to have it after 16 or so years from the other senatorial district. I'm sure those of you from Benue State know what is happening. If this can be accepted and adopted in the new coming um, uh, constitution uh, that is being proposed, the reviewed constitution, it will bring harmony and more development to those states. Secondly, you all agree with me, especially those of us in the National Assembly, we went through hell before some of us are sworn in and some members lost out. The harrowing experience of going through court processes, after you are being sworn in, you will still be in court. Some people have spent six months before they were pushed out by the courts. We are now saying let all these processes be concluded before members are inaugurated or sworn in, as the case may be. The proposed amendments include a rotation of presidency, one-day elections for presidents and governors, and a one-year or seven-year jail term for electoral offenders. These changes are currently under discussion within the legislative framework, and further updates on progress and potential implications are anticipated. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.